More dogs are now overdosing from the deadly forms of fentanyl that we're now seeing out there on the streets, and that includes police canines, which are vital to this war on opiates. Law enforcement agencies are now changing what they do at crime scenes to protect their four-legged partners. Oh, boy. Our dogs are like family, so it would be the same as taking care of a family member that had some kind of medical emergency. So the dog's going to start searching low to high. The very skill that's helping police canines fight the opiate epidemic is also putting their lives at risk. We place it up against the dog's outer thigh, and it would automatically inject a dose of naloxone straight into his bloodstream. Injection complete. Drug detecting dogs are vital in the battle, but now highly potent opiates are changing the way these dogs work. We have not seen the prevalence, the uh, availability of drugs like this, but and not just the drugs themselves, but the potency. Drug investigators are now carrying Narcan. Hopefully that saves it's my tired. dog's life. To keep the dog safe, like German Shepherd Lucky with the Plymouth County Sheriff's Office. Dogs actually absorb things pretty quickly because their olfactory system is a little bit different than ours. So we'd notice a change in our partners pretty quickly. When dogs are exposed to opiates, they react much like people do. Seeming sluggish, pinpoint pupils, vomiting, stumbling, and a slow respiratory rate. Now departments are taking steps to keep those canines safe so they can keep fighting this big battle. We need to be prepared to make sure our dogs are as safe as possible. We ask a lot of our dogs, so we like to make sure they're protected. And instead of active searching that could disturb whatever drugs are there on the scene, departments are getting canines to use what's called a passive detection technique. Canines are trained to touch their nose to the source of the odor. We have some more details on the effort to fight the opiate crisis here in the metro area.